Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. This will be the second quarter topic and learning competency number 3. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, the 80% of the learners will be able to first is to differentiate the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. The second one is to classify various organisms as either unicellular or multicellular. And the third one is to appreciate the importance of unicellular and multicellular organisms by answering the reflection of learning. Inactivating prior knowledge for the direction in the following matrix, place a check in the box if the cell has the component. In establishing purpose of the lesson for unlocking of content vocabulary, the students will use the match type. Did you know that cell is the basic unit of life? All living organisms are composed of one to trillions of cells that work together to carry out life processes. Cells are classified into two types, the prokaryotic cells and the eukaryotic cells. All life on earth consists of either eukaryotic cells or prokaryotic cells. Prokaryotes were the first form of life. Scientists believe that eukaryotes evolved from prokaryotes around 2.7 billion years ago. Cells fall into one or two broad categories, the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic. The predominantly single-celled organisms of the domains are bacteria and archaea are classified as prokaryotes. Pro, which means before, and karyon, which means nucleus. Animal cells, plant cells, fungi, and protists are eukaryotes. EU, which means through all cells, whether prokaryotic or eukaryotic, share these four features. First is the DNA, second is the plasma membrane, third is the cytoplasm, and the last one is the ribosomes. Eukaryotic cells are cells that contain a membrane-bound nucleus and many internal membranes called the organelles. The eukaryotic cell has three main parts as follows. First one is the cell membrane that separates the intracellular space from the outer space physically delimiting the cell. The second one is the cytoplasm, the interior portion filled with cytosol. This is the aquaceous fluid inside the cell and contains all the organelles. The third one is the nucleus. It covered by the double membrane that contains the genetic material. And the last one is the ribosomes, are molecular machines that synthesize the proteins. Another one is the prokaryotic cell structure. A prokaryote is a simple single-celled organism that lacks a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. The following are the comparison between a prokaryote and a eukaryote.
For the work example, the students will classify various organisms as either unicellular or multicellular organisms.